Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Unit 3 Overview. During this unit, we will be talking about ecosystems and human impact on the environment. So firstly, we have an introduction to ecosystems. An ecosystem is a complex, dynamic system where living organisms interact with each other and their surrounding environment. It consists of both biotic, which is living, and abiotic, which is non-living factors, such as plants, animals, microorganisms, soil, water, air, and sunlight. The importance of biodiversity in ecosystems cannot be overstated, as it plays a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance and sustainability. Moving to the types of ecosystems, ecosystems come in various forms, each with its unique characteristics. We have terrestrial ecosystems, which include diverse landscapes like rainforests, deserts, and grasslands. We have aquatic ecosystems, encompass vast marine environments, and freshwater ecosystems, such as lakes and rivers. Additionally, we have artificial ecosystems which are found in urban areas and agricultural landscapes are shaped by human activities. Moving to another concept which is food webs and chains. Food webs and chains illustrate the transfer of energy through trophic levels in an ecosystem. This energy flow is vital for maintaining balance and stability within the ecosystem. Technically, trophic levels include producers, which are plants that they do receive their energy from the sun and they feed their own cell via the photosynthesis process that we discussed in Unit 2. We have then primary consumers, which are the herbivores, and then we have secondary consumers, which are the carnivores. Lastly, we have the decomposers, which technically each play a specific role in the ecosystem. Then, we will be introduced to the concept of cycles of matter in ecosystems. Matter cycles, such as the water, carbon, and nitrogen cycles, are essential for recycling nutrients and maintaining the balance within ecosystems. However, human activities such as deforestation and pollution can disrupt these cycles, leading to environmental imbalances and negative impacts on biodiversity. Then we have human impact overview. Human activities have a significant impact on ecosystems, both positive and negative. Positive effects include the development of agriculture and the de domestic of plants and animals. However, negative impacts such as habitat destruction and pollution pose serious threats to the delicate balance of ecosystem. Moving to the deforestation and habitat loss. Deforestation driven by activities like clearing land for agriculture and logging results in the loss of vital habitats and disruption in the ecological balance. Case studies such as the deforestation in the Amazon rainforest highlight the far-reaching consequence on biodiversity and global climate patterns. Moving to the pollution and its effects. Pollution, whether if it's air, water, or soil, has detrimental effects on ecosystems. For example, indoor pollution often overlooked stem for, from household activities and products, affecting both environment and human health. The consequences of the pollution include adverse effects on plant and animal life, soil degradation, and respiratory diseases. Moving then to the water pollution. Water pollution caused by industrial discharges, agricultural runoff, and improper waste disposal poses a severe threat to aquatic ecosystems. 
This pollution harms 